Well, evergreen agriculture is all about growing trees on farmers' fields uh, along with their food crops. And um, it's a way of doing agriculture that has the potential to actually um, reinvent farming in the future. Right now, here in Africa, millions of farmers are growing fertilizer trees along with their food crops in such a way that they produce uh, higher yields while they have their crops growing under a canopy of trees. It's a very interesting, very unusual system, but it's indigenous to Africa. And the, uh, the trees that um, make this system possible are trees that are readily available to millions more farmers in the future. So we look at evergreen agriculture as a way of, in fact, assisting in reinventing agriculture for a more climate smart farming uh, in the future. Um, there's been a tremendous amount of research on uh, the effects of fertilizer trees on crop yields in various countries in Africa, um, which has helped us to understand why so many millions of farmers already use these trees in their fields. They cultivate them in their fields for uh, fertilizer and fodder. And uh, the yields uh, vary from place to place and from system to system. But in general, um, the uh, increase in uh, yields may be um, as much as double or triple the yields that are obtained uh, without the uh, canopy of trees in the fields. This is because the trees produce nitrogen fertilizer. They fix nitrogen from the air and their biomass, their leaves, um, are deposited on the soil surface and the soils become more fertile. And this stimulates higher crop yields of maize, sorghum, millets, and other cereal crops. Um, in various countries around the region. The World Agroforestry Center is working with countries throughout Africa in developing national programs that would scale up the use of these tree technologies in farmers' fields. That way, um, more farmers can benefit from the, um, the knowledge and the, uh, the technologies that have been developed by African farmers, studied by scientists, and now um, are available at a mass scale for propagation. The environmental benefits um, are accompanying the productivity benefits, and they include increased uh, biodiversity in farmers' fields, because imagine if you had um, a, a lot of trees in a farm, uh, you will increase the number of niches for birds, for rodents for insects and other forms of life um, in the farm instead of it being a monoculture of a single crop. So it increases the biodiversity, but it also helps um, farmers to adapt their farming systems to climate change because the soils being improved, they help um, increase yields when there is a drought, when there is uh, less moisture, um, the crops will still do better than they would have done uh, without the trees. This is one of the big benefits we see for the future because in most parts of Africa it's predicted that the climate will get drier and hotter and uh, producing uh, your crops in association with trees will help to buffer the crops from those, those uh, uh, <clears throat> stresses from, from drought and uh, high temperatures. We have a lot more research to do in order to understand the adaptation of the systems to crop, uh, crops in countries where they are not very common, commonly used. So a lot more investigation needs to be done to, uh, to create a broader uh, recommendation for the technology. But there certainly are a lot of areas where farmers are already using these um, systems and that they can be intensified by propagating more trees, uh, increasing the density of the trees in farmers' fields. So um, in the medium term, um, we can see um, a, um, a very vast um, uh, proportion of farmlands uh, in Africa potentially using these trees in order to uh, buffer their crop yields uh, from um, these higher temperatures and drought situations.
the vision that the World Aquaforestry Center is developing is a vision whereby much of our crops in the tropics in future years will be produced under the canopy of a agroforest, under the canopy of trees whose branches spread over the fields, but yet do not compete with the crops, quite the contrary, will in fact improve the environment for crop yields and help African farmers to dramatically increase their crop production even in the event that they cannot afford to use commercial fertilizer. Well, we are now working with partners in countries throughout West, East, and Southern Africa, and in South Asia, to uh, develop and extend the systems of evergreen agriculture. And these partners include governments, uh, our research institute partners, the universities, the NGOs, the private sector, and of course uh, donors who are interested in supporting these efforts so that we can carry forward this work in an accelerated way. So we have many, many partners developing um, their um, support for and engagement with the prospect of, 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 a, of a movement to encourage the uh, development and use of evergreen agriculture uh, throughout the tropics.